Hello and welcome to Bell Cave Gaming. Today I'm bringing you a Rail Eggs deck as requested by Bino Trap. Now Bino Traps just recently requested this on one of my older videos uh, from probably about four months ago, maybe even just a little bit more, when I first had a look at Rail Eggs. But back then, this guy was only just released and he was actually bugged because you couldn't use Super Growth if you went second on your first turn, even though you should be able to. And I said back then that I would revisit Rail Eggs, but I never actually did. And he's just asked recently, can you do Rail Eggs with some Vile Plumes? So I thought, you know what? Let's have a look at that deck. So the Rail Eggs, just to remind ourselves what he actually does. So Super Growth for no NGs allows us to search our deck for any card that evolves from one of our Grass Pokemon. And we can put that Pokemon straight in there to evolve it. Now for it's a Stage 2 Pokemon, we can also search for its Stage 2 as long as it's in our deck and we can evolve it straight to a stage 2 so it's really good for getting out our stage 2s really really quickly and being able to you know support our Rail legs in the active now we want to be able to attack with the Rail legs as well it's got a calming hurricane 150 straight damage for three ngs um we don't with this particular build have great um, energy acceleration, that's not what we're going for, but it does allow us to heal 30 damage from this Pokemon. So that's something that we're really building it around, is we're going to try and make it a tanky healy Pokemon. That's really important because the Vile Plume also is all about healing. So the Vile Plume, yes it's a stage uh, 2, but we can get that up really quickly with Super Growth. With the Fragrant Flower Garden allows us, once during our turn, to heal 30 damage from each of our Pokemon. Every Pokemon in play, we can heal healer as we're going now back to the relics it's got a third tack as well for three grass energies does a straight 200 if you've got an extra three on there um, you can shuffle all of your opponent's energies into that deck we're probably not ever really going for that in this particular build we've just got an option to get a 200 hit off at some stage if we can now the other stage two that we've got here is leaveny because of the blanket weaver we want to get one of these up and going because it allows us to take 40 less damage from our opponent's pokemon now this doesn't stack, you can only use one Blanket Weaver ability at a time, but it just allows us to be a bit more tanky. Plus, if we can get ourselves a Choice Helmet, we're now taking 70 less from our opponent's um, GX Pokemon, which is really, really good. And then we can hopefully heal up with our Vile Plumes, plus lots of healing options available to us. So obviously we're going maxed out in Great Potions. Healing 50 damage from our active Pokemon GX. Uh, we've got Gardenia as well, which as long as we've got a Grass Energy attached to our Pokemon, we can heal 80 damage from that. So that can combo really nicely without having us to switch. But if we do need a bit more healing, we've also got Mallow and Lana as an option, which allows us to heal 120 and switch with one of our bench if we need to heal that 120 but we've got to discard two cards from our hand to do so so we may or may not want to do that now the vile plume that's a secondary attacker um with the massive bloom does 180 damage only requires two ngs which is kind of nice so it's a lower ng cost to use but does 10 less damage for each damage counter on this pokemon so we've got to really be able to heal it back up to zero to be able to get full use of its attack um, Leaveny as well can be used as an attacker, so this is our non-GX attacker, how to get around Keldeos and things like that. It's not the most ideal Pokemon to go into, but we can, if we get absolutely desperate, use the Leaveny to try and um, attack with that Razor Leaf for 70, and that's really the deck that we've got here. Our other um, healing option is the Life Forest. So Life Forest uh, allows us to heal 60 and all special conditions from one of our Grass Pokemon. Um, and then the rest is just about setting up and attacking. So let's get into some matches. Hello, Chaos. Or, uh, someone who had a fit with the uh, the keyboard, by the looks of things. I'm sorry if that says something, and I just don't know what it is. But it just looks like someone's just gone da 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 <laughs> on the keyboard. Ah, right, so we got you. That doesn't tell me much. Does not tell me much at all. So we have got Coach Trainer and Saint uh, Caitlin, uh, Cynthia and Caitlin. Yeah, when I can speak. So it's good. We can netball. Go and get ourselves something out. Ready to go. So we got Tina tags that we're dealing with. So Vile Plume could be good as the first one. Just so it's healing more. Mind you, taking Tina tags to the face is pretty bad. We got Great Potion to last one. 
Mm. I'm just trying to work out who's the bigger priority. Whether it's Leaveny or Vileplume. I feel like Vileplume's probably better. But Leaveny's pretty important. How many Tinas do you play? I don't think I've seen a Tina Tag stack play three Tinas before. But anyway. Well, we'll netball, go on gas cells. We gotta have a look at this. We have the full line, not the full line there. We'll grab Oddish. I do think I need to leave a netball just in case I need an NG. On the next turn. Because getting NGs is really, really important here. Oh, we've got Viridian. I wish I'd paid attention to that. Thanks for playing Viridian down. Uh, yeah, that's what we need. So Adult. Alright, so we'll get that. Did not even notice the Viridian sitting there. Does that mean we need Poke Gear? Probably not. We can probably just pull an NG out right now. Grab a Grass. And then Coach Trainer ourselves. Alright, so we have another Oddish if we want to play it. I think we will. Chuck the U-turn board onto you. Well, super growth. I think Oddish is the priority first. Because that gives me more healing, not Swidloon. Gloom. Give me the Gloom. Uh, yep. And then the Vile Plume. Ah, that feels good. Because that way I can also heal up the Tina tags, putting damage counters on my guys. We need to keep this just in case you decide to reset whole your own stadium. That'd probably be ideal at some point if you can reset whole your own stadium. Because otherwise I only get one use out of my stadium. When I play it. Do you know it'd be devastating? Is if you've got Mimikyu that can shut off my ability. That'll be devastating. Although, unless you're going to reset whole your own stadium, I won't see it. You can still do it though. Hmm. Okay, so you don't quite have the attack with Tina this turn. But you are able to whack out my Sawaddle. That was rude. Not gonna lie. Alright, so I have to fully evolve my Sawaddle here. I've got no choice. Um... That was really, really annoying. Alright, Sawaddle, come down. We'll heal everyone. We'll heal yourself more than anything else. Um, what do I want to ditch out of this? Let's just poke gear. We have Cynthia and Caitlyn out of it. I think we ditched the choice helmet at this stage. Grab coach trainer back. I 
Do I need to? Nah, I don't. Drop a coach trainer, get a grass NG out. You turn board you. Super growth. Uh, Swedloon. Get this fully up. The Leaveny. And I'll be up and attacking next turn. Now I'm taking 40 less damage from you. I haven't seen the tags yet. I'm assuming they're coming. So we're now probably trying to mainly involve a second Vile Plume up. We'll probably attach to this guy, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Make that decision in a little bit. No tags, yep, which is good. Coach trainer first, then make a decision. Missed on the old gloom, which is what we're hoping for. So I think about this, 30 off. You get another 30 off by attacking. I think we hold on the Great Potion for the minute. Get a Weakness Guard onto you. I think, oh no, hang on. That was my mistake. I haven't fully powered you up yet. Uh, well, we shall super growth. Uh, get another Gloom. Do you want to make you a Vile Plume? Well, we can't anyway. So we'll just hold that. Oh, we'll get our Vile Plume army happening. So what are you going to go and get yourself? And you're only one way from attacking now as well, which is nice. Malamar. Really hoping we don't see Mimikyu. Mimikyu will be devastating. We do want to get another Rowlix going at some stage. Since I've got no more Vile Plumes, I think we'll just ditch this Oddish. Want to keep a Choice Helmet just in case. So we'll ditch the Vile Plume. Oh, not the Vile Plume, the uh. The Oddish, I just nearly had a heart attack. <laughs> Going, what did I ditch the Vile Plume for? Uh, we'll get this guy. Online. Dragon Flower. So we've got 10 damage on to the Rowlix, that's it. That feels fine at this stage. We'll get an NG to you, we'll start attacking now. Got Great Potion for later. Uh, Choice Helmet. We'll just save that at the moment. And coming hurricane. So we'll drop our row legs on the next one. That feels fun. It's funny, that whole misplay of Axe putting the NG here instead of here kind of helped anyway to super growth. And we've got a vile plume sort of ready to go at some stage. Which is always good. I mean, we're far from home, but the board state's not too bad. We don't mind the board state at all. I'm assuming you have the switch. So you'll double recharge, switch, and then Lily, probably. I do still kind of want you to reset whole your own stadium, but I doubt you will. <laughs> Not now. I've got my energies into play. 
The only reason he would have would have been to try and deny me from getting energies. Yep, there's the switch. And a lily. Do we have tags coming now? We don't. Maybe this deck doesn't play tags. Alright, so what we'll do, we'll start powering up another Ralex. We'll coach his trainer here. Let's get more stuff. Gardenia is a really good pull. Uh, we want a Fragrant Flower. Both these guys will ditch our Ralex. We don't need Ralex anymore. Uh, no NGs to get. Just in case we get stamped, we just need to start emptying the hand a bit, I think. I think that's what we really need to do. Just start emptying the hand. And... Yeah, this stage, Carving Hurricane. Get rid of that Giratina. Get back to 10 damage. Or 10 health. Well, 10 damage on my guy. Another Gardenia is good. We like out in here because it saves us from having to use a switch at the same time. Like switching ourselves. That's what we like about Gardenia. You're gonna have to make something happen pretty soon. Something beyond just Tina. As Cynthia. If you hang around though beyond this turn, I think you've hung around about the longest anyone has <laughs> when I've got the board state set up. So I'll give kudos to you if you hang around. Ah, Latios. That's a good one. We can Mallow and Lana get into our Vile Plane. So that's fine. We can deal with that threat. Didn't pick that one, but yep, we can deal with it, so that's all good. Let's have to decide whether or not I want a Mellow and Lana and, um... And heal at the same time. I mean, it thins the deck, which is good. So it might be an option. We'll wait, attach that in a sec. We'll just quickly heal completely up. Which is kind of hilarious. That that doesn't do anywhere near enough damage. But we'll... We don't need to heal. So we'll just switch to our Vile Plume. Get an energy attachment to our Vile Plume. And yeah, we'll just Massive Bloom. Smack out the Latios. Two more prize cards. You can now attack my Vile Plume. We should have actually gotten rid of the Gloom. There's no way I can use a Vile Plume. Just in case I get stamped. I can imagine getting stamped soon. To make things more awkward. So yeah, I definitely should have got rid of that Gloom in the last turn. I want to get an energy attachment to you next. I think I should be able to heal this pretty well completely. This plume. So it does have GX cards in it. We do know that. Got baby blounds. We just played around that turn. <laughs> that baby blounds is kind of awkward. I mean, yes, you can get the Levani out on the three prize card turn I guess but all the rest of the guys you can pretty much one shot so we got Tina Chomp all right so Tina Chomp's coming you cannot get a damage counter on the plume can you before do you have something to get a damage counter on the plume so you can hit for 240 so if you can then you can one shot the plume 
which puts you to a rail leg away. I suppose you got the GG end attack as well. Do I have any gusting in this deck? I don't think I do, do I? Although he brought the team chomp up for me in anyway. We could choose just to fully heal this. And attack with Vile Plume instead. I mean, should we? <laughs> or we could use Malolana to switch. Let's just have a look what's in here. Just another row legs. Alright, we need to start emptying our deck a little bit. Uh, let's get rid of Gloom. I'm kind of tempted to Mellow and Lana switch just so I can empty the deck more. I think that's the play. We just need to start emptying the deck, that's all. And then Coming Hurricane. Smack uh, 115 to you. There's the stamp. That's the reason why we're just emptying the deck as much as we can. We got Cynthia and Caitlin, so that's good. Yeah, we're kind of sitting pretty <laughs> in a really good spot in a tough uh, situation to overcome, I think. But good game. He's the the person who stuck it out the longest. I mean, no one sticks it out once you get the board state set up. Um, it's just this deck's really a question of can you get the board state set up before they smash straight through you. That seems to be what this deck's about. <laughs> Hello, Gabrice. Gabrice, welcome. Well, Swaddle's not who we want in the active. Not in the slightest. We've got Miss Magius, so it's a turbo. Okay, Lady Deck. Interesting combo. But I've got to get this situation worked out. I might have to waste an NG just to go to my... Oh, well, I don't have a way to get a rail eggs out just yet. It's a bit concerning. We do get an extra card from you, though, for the mulligan. Gives me the NG. Now I have to get through Keldeo with your full evolution. That's something that is a little bit annoying. That's my only way through a Keldeo. So it's like a turbo Keldeo deck? Maybe? Well, I mean, keeping this alive is super important. So I'm probably going to need two of them.
All right, what are we gonna do? Let's grab relics. We're gonna run a switch to the relics. Choice someone onto this guy could be actually better. I do think we need to start powering this guy up. And super growth. Should probably have a look. So we don't have a second one of him, and we can't one shot. So we're gonna have to be careful how much we have on our bench as well. Because that will go through effects of attacks. Oh no, hang on. Yeah, yeah, this one goes through effects of attacks. Effects. So it does 110 no matter what. Does it go through choice ban? Uh, choice helmet? I don't think it does. So I do think this is super important. On you. Coach trainer here. Although I kind of need the Malo and Lana back as a guarantee. So we'll go with the Cynthia and Caitlin. Alright, let's get the weakness guard onto you. We don't want anything else out at the moment. Hang on, is it for bench? Each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So the moment's only doing 50, we'll do 100. 100's not a big deal. It's when I'm getting a third on there. So what we want is not ish here. So we can go Oddish down, Choice Helmet to you at the moment. Or we'll Super Growth. Go to get a Gloom. And a Vile Plume. It's got plenty of healing now. We've got the switch. Start working into the Keldeite. My worry is this is just going to be nothing but Keldeos. Because I'm going to need to be out of rehealing. <laughs> anyway. So I think this is just a switch. I don't think we're discarding two here. It's just a nice simple switch. Over here. We'll... Flagrant Flower. Definitely don't want to bench anything more. And Razor Leaf. Start hitting into Keldeo. Next turn, Cynthia and Caitlin go and get me back Mallow and Lana. I am starting to get a little bit concerned that I don't have NG cards though. Ah, we get an NG card, beautiful. So, we'll Cynthia and Caitlin drop the Vile Plume just the minute. Get the Malon Lana back because we need that desperately. And. Flagrant Flower. Start powering up our relics. Get a Razor Leaf off. Whack out Keldeo. We kind of need your second line out of the. We need your full evolution. We need our Leave Any. From the uh, prizes as well. Just in case we have to get through another Keldeo. Thing about it though is. Yeah. So we're home. We're home. Good. <laughs> what was the deck though? Like. Okay. Can't say. Hello, Savage Green Wolf. Welcome. Alright. Hopefully this isn't Ultra Necrozma. <laughs> we kind of need decks that can't one-shot us, I feel. I uh, probably could have played both Oddish when I think about it. Do I have pack comms? Good question. I don't think I do. Don't think we run pack comms. 
So we need an energy attachment. We also need mm, other baby down. Let's just have a look because I need to see what's in this deck. Pokemon wise. So we got two Swaddles. So we can get straight into that. Alright, so we'll grab Cynthia and Caitlin. Grab ourselves a Rowlegs, I guess. I mean, the we're going to grab another um, Cynthia and Caitlin. Simply because if I don't get into a draw sporter, well, we're kind of stuff. So, yeah. Got plenty of Vile Plumes, don't we? I think so. I don't think we need more Vile Plume. So, we'll just put that back. Like putting that discard. Got the NG, awesome. So what we'll do with this one is we possibly should have kept that just in case we need an NG again. Oh well, we'll work that out in the next one. Get a swaddle down. Awesome. Get that down, get that down, get that down, and we'll hold. So we've got coach trainer for the next one to draw four. I'd say if this is Ultra Necrozma, we're in a lot of trouble. If it's Tina Tags, well, we can do a lot of healing. So first thing is confirmed, it's not just the Ultra Necrozma battle deck. Has had modifications. So my early thought process is to go with Vile Plume first. You got Deoxion. Because we can mainly evolve this one up one. Yeah, get the Vile Plume out first. That way we can start doing some healing. Alright. Well, all coach train up. We got an energy car, which is good. Chuck the energy to you. I think we're gonna evolve you up this turn. Tag call. Cool. Just wanna continue emptying the deck. Grab another one of you, grab one of you. Just in case we need that. We like keeping that bulls good just in case I need a grass NG. So super growth here. Go and get our gloom. I'll go this guy. And go and get a vile plume. Oh, we've only got one vile plume left. Okay. So I've prized a vile plume. Probably should have looked at that before I uh, just ditched one to the grave. Anyway. We can Malo and Lana switch. I mean, it's not ideal, but we can do that. In order to go on the offensive. If we want to go on the offensive. And I think we do. So Malalana, switch back to this guy. Go and get the NG. 
Uh, yeah, the NG. To the relics. And then... I kind of want to save growth, but I think we need to take the advantage right now. Let's go in with a Calming Hurricane. Whack out the Incat. As the reality is, I don't see you attacking this turn either. Unless you got Ultra Necrozma. Ultra Necrozma is my biggest worry at the moment. I nearly feel like Caitlyn Cynthia is better in this next one for draw. Go and get the Mallow and Lana back. I might need to consider powering up the Vileplume. As the priority. Just for the first Mellow and Lana. So that way I can attack on the next one. That's so much. I need to be able to heal it again. Oh, you're so annoying. You are so annoying. At least that's another Gus card, Golden Guess. Does have the switch. Let's go and see what this is going to get. Gardenia. Alright, so this is a Caitlyn Cynthia turn. Drop Coach Trainer. Grab Mallow and Lana. Start powering up relics here. And leave it there. I need to get you evolved. That's something we're desperately after. So Deoxion's coming. A little bit sooner than I thought it would. If you had Ultra Necrozma, I would have thought I would have seen it by now. Tag call. Oh wow, I only have one of these Mellow Alanas. That's annoying. Do I just want to switch? Or discard too? <laughs> Alright, I think my opponent is getting a little bit annoyed by the tankiness. <laughs> Hello, why is the Stampede? Welcome. Alright, start with relics. I'm really conf confused about what you evolve into and what this deck's even about. Like, I have no idea. 
out of these, I don't want to get rid of a choice helmet because I just don't know if this is a GX deck yet. But I think that's what we do. Get this down, get this to you, get this to you. That feels pretty good. Uh, we will tackle here. Go and pull ourselves in. Definitely a Cynthia and Caitlyn. Probably a Ralex as well. That feels fine. And yeah, passed over. I have no idea what I'm up against. Like, zero clue. I didn't even know this guy was a car. <laughs> so the reason I was reading it. <laughs> From Celestial Storm, apparently. Alright, so that confirmed it's probably not GX. Kinda want my Vile Plume now. We'll poke gear, because there's a chance that this could get me Coach Trader. Which it does. Coach Trader. Got the energy we're looking for. Did not get me. I was kind of hoping for a Oddish. Um, we'll tackle that. Get ourselves out these two. And right now, just super growth. Our swaddle back there. Come Swadloon and then become Levani. Meanwhile, I want to know what this thing actually is. <laughs> what it's going to be doing. Because I have no idea. Not a clue. You have piqued my interest though. I mean, it's full on with the uh, Wismers right now. <laughs> I mean, should I just go and look, <laughs> look it up? What does it do? Have you evolved it yet? Are you evolving? Please evolve it, so I don't have to look it up. Come on, you know you want to. <laughs> No. Uh, what was it? Celestial Storm. I have no idea what this deck does. Uh, where are we? Damage spread with dangerous concert. Does 30 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. With a heavy impact of 100. Expensive in terms of energy though. Ranger is interesting. That's for sure. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's right here. Um, I, mean, I guess you've got probably a welder or something. Something like that. I kind of feel getting the Vile Plume is probably pretty important here. Since you try and do Bent Spread, getting this to clean up the damage is probably better. Got Gloom and Vile Plume. Hopefully we don't draw into them. Doesn't matter if I draw into two of them. There's two ways of thinking about this. I could start attacking. I need all these heal cards. We're gonna pop you in the bin, because I've got more of you. Grab Crouch Trainer back. I do think we super growth here. And use... I feel like you're not hitting hard enough to worry about the great potions at the moment. It was super growth though. I don't like the fact that... In fact, we'll leave the Vileplume in deck. 
I was gonna say, I don't like the fact that Shrine's gonna tick over. But we'll just leave Vileplume in the deck. Because we got him in hand. And then we can start attacking. We got tons of healing cards on hand at the moment. Got Coach Trainer that we can use. It's really good for us. Yep, so definitely damage spread. Don't have Muse to stop it. And 30 damage is also a lot to put on everyone. But it's going to be expensive. That's all I have to say about it. I'm assuming there's welders in this somewhere. Alright, well we'll start attacking now. Well, great potion are active. Uh, we don't really need... Oh, we actually... Vileplane will be handy um, when I think about it. So we'll chuck this down, we'll chuck this to you, we'll get the vile plume down now. Uh, we will fragrant flower. And then coming hurricane. Smack out the Drachi. And yeah. <laughs> we'll set up to uh, take care of that deck after that. Very interesting deck though, very interesting deck. Hello and Oakland Raider, welcome. Alright. Got Mew. I think that needs to be an energy attachment. And I've got to use that just as discard fodder. Keep everything else I've got here. Uh, NG attach. I've got a coach trainer for next turn. Hopefully we can uh, get into a basic Pokemon. Um... Grab this one. Alright. Hold it there. See what we're up against. So we're hoping Coach Trainer really draws into something that can get... Like, we need an NG and we need a basic Pokemon. We'll take any basic Pokemon at this stage, but... We need that, so we can get our super growth turn off. And we can start, like, continue powering up our Calming Hurricane attack. That's what we're looking for. If our opponent is here. Our opponent might not be here. Nope, they're here. Alright, so what have we got? A Malamar deck? It's Dragon, so I'm guessing this is probably Tina Chomp. It's got metal in it. Uh, Ultra Necrozma. In fact, that's what it's going to be. Which is a big problem. Huge problem. Alright, Coast Trainer. Got a base Pokemon, no energy. Oh, we might not have a Gloom back in our deck, Ethan. This could be bad. We don't have a Gloom in deck. We've prized our other Gloom. Well, that couldn't have gone any worse that turn. Got 
the old switch. And this will be Ultra Necrozma. So the advantage is well and truly been handed to you now. It's RNG. What'd you get out of that? Viridian. So you missed the supporter, but I missed the bigger turn. Because I can't attack this turn still. Gloom. Do we have another Swaddle in deck? Yes. Um, or Swadloon, whatever you want to call it. Lavenies in here. So we got Swaddle. Get an NG attachment. Um, let's have a look at your hand. Oh, you got a Faber. And a Viridian. Good to know. Alright, let's super growth. Get Swidloon. And go and get ourselves Leaveny. That Jirachi pool becomes pretty massive now. You're just looking for a supporter. A supporter, you probably go boom right now. I mean, there is a supporter. Probably not the one you were hoping for. Probably a Cynthia is what you're looking at. Alright, so you give me the NG. Thankfully, because I didn't have it. No attempt to power up a Vile Plume. Although, what's your HP? I don't think you're going to do enough. It's Coach Trainer here. There's no point getting a second one of you up. I wonder not ish. That's unfortunate. Probably should have actually used the Viridian first. Want to keep these two. These two. I feel like this is the white line that we don't need anymore. So we'll grab the grass energy this way. We we'll want to leave these in hand, I think. And right now we'll just come in Hurricane, get rid of that Jirachi. I mean, I'm definitely ahead of the match now. But I got given a chance. <laughs> Oops, what am I doing? That one. See up the Tina in the bin. But the alternate charisma, the fact that this will be an ultra charisma deck means I'm far from home. So far from home. I said nearly feel like we need to keep Vile Plume, like maybe even power up a Vile Plume. Just to keep that as alive as an option at some stage. Hell that up. Um, yeah, breaking hard. The alternate charisma was a big worry though, and I bet this had the alternate charismas. It most certainly did. I only had the one though. I only had the one. So there's more of a Tina Tag build with an alternate charisma tech. Okay. 
And it is time to rate this deck and same with damage here. The damage, well, we're a two-shot based deck against any GX and tag team Pokemon, basically. So, um, yes, we've got enough damage output that we can generally one-shot most non-GX decks, but it's 180 the maximum with a Vile Plume. Uh, 200 is a one-off with our um, Rowlix, but otherwise just 150 for that consistency. That's sort of the maximum we can do. We're a two-shot based deck. The damage is not the strength of the deck, but we'll give the damage a 7 out of 10 because is still fairly decent. As for the defense, well that's what this deck is really about. We do have a terrible weakness, just completely the wrong uh, weakness to have in this meta, but we have so much healing options that if weakness isn't an issue, um, we can make things really, really difficult for your opponent, unless they're a deck that's designed to be able to one-shot really, like just attack for healing huge numbers so the defense definitely the strength of the deck we're giving that a 10 out of 10. as for reliability the super growth just is absolutely massive for that being able to pull out um, your stage twos immediately while setting yourself up we are a slow setup deck but we're designed to be a slow setup deck and the reliability of setting ourselves up generally hits what we're trying to do so reliability isn't generally a huge issue but we are a deliberate slow setup deck. So reliability, I'm giving that an eight out of 10. And overall, this is a real tanky card and a fun card to play with, but it really does exist in the wrong meta. It's a like a huge tank can just take huge, well hit after hit after hit and it's got huge healing capabilities. But the weakness with how much fire support there's around the place, um, it just exists in the wrong meta, unfortunately. But overall, if you've got the right matchups, um, it can be a nice tanky deck. And I'm giving it an overall rating of an 8 out of 10.